so guys uh welcome in this video i want to show you how to install wordpress locally on your machine under 10 minutes without further ado let us dive in and let us learn how to install wordpress locally for you to work with wordpress locally of course you need wordpress itself and secondly you need a local server whereby your wordpress site can run uh, the way it runs on a live environment and for this case, I will be using ZAMP. So let us go to the browser and uh, just search for ZAMP. Okay, let us search for ZAMP, enter. And I'm gonna click this www.apashefriend.org. I'm gonna click this guy. And then it will bring me to this page. On this page, you'll find ZAMP for the different operating system. And for my case, I'm using Windows. And for this, I'll just click Windows uh, option and then to start to download and since i've already installed zamp on my computer i don't want to waste my space i just cancel this guy but the installation process is so simple so easy the way you just uh, run a normal windows application and then click next 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 until you see the word finish and you will be done so the next thing you want to do once zamp is installed come to your local uh to rather to search bar and type zamp you see this option of ZAMP control panel, right? Click and pin this guy to taskbar since we'll be using this option uh, a number of times. And now if you come to the taskbar here, you see this guy here, you click it. And then uh, these two first option, Apache and MySQL, uh, you wanna click start and then click start, right? And once you've clicked start for these two guys, just come to your browser and type local host and if everything went well you see this page apache friends application faqs out to guys php info and php my admin so guys you've already installed zamp and you're good to go the next thing you want to do is go to wordpress you want to look for wordpress and for this case we want to go for wordpress.org not wordpress.com we want to click wordpress.org and then we want to scroll down to download wordpress.6.0.0 and then our wordpress is already downloaded we want to locate the folder let me just locate the folder first and now if i go to downloads you'll be able to see that wordpress has been downloaded so i'm gonna copy this wordpress zip file and i'm gonna go to local disk c drive and uh, this is where by initially or by default zamp is installed so if you specified uh, the drive for zamp installation to be d just locate the folder for zamp installation in my case it is in local c drive so i'm gonna go inside zamp and i'm gonna go inside this guy by the name ht docs i'm gonna paste this guy here and then i'm gonna right click and then uh, extract here this will take a minute and boom we are done so we're gonna delete this uh, zip file and then i'm gonna rename this uh, folder to test name of our site which will be test site what a beautiful beautiful name test site test site right so the next thing uh is you want to go to your browser you see the page here with open for local host you want to go to this uh, tab php my admin just click on that tab it will open uh, a page like this which is simply the php my admin which is a database management system you want to come here to sql and then just uh, write this code if you're not familiar with sql please just check up on the browser sql is just simply a uh, language for querying the database and so i'll just write create database i'm creating a database and this is called test underscore db right and then i'll just click go and boom our test db has been created successfully right so the next thing or rather the last thing in our installation process 
is to go inside our test site folder and locate this guy with the name WP config sample. And then I just double click to open this guy. So if you have a text editor, uh, such as Sublime Text or Visual Studio Code, it will open uh, the file. But if you have not installed any of this text editor, it's still fine. You can open it with Notepad, which comes by default in your Windows installation. And so the thing you want to do is you want to locate uh, this section here, database setting. And for the DB name, you want to put test underscore DB. That was our database name. For the user by default, it is root. And for the password, we have no password. And then you want to click, uh, you want to save this file as a WP config rather than WP config sample, right? And then click save. And then we are done. We are done, guys. So the next thing, you want to come to your browser and just type localhost. The name of our folder was test-site. Enter. So it will open uh, this guide here, starting with choosing the language. I just choose the language as uh, English, of course. And then it will tell you to enter the site name for this. I just put test. The username, I just put also test. The password for now, I just put test one, two, three, four, five. At, at, at. What a very, very strong password. Uh, for email test at gmail.com and then install WordPress. Boom! WordPress has been installed. Thank you and enjoy. Ah, I'm feeling nervous, guys. Let us let us try to click uh, the login button and see what happens. And here we go. Username and password. For the username, I believe we use uh, the Gmail test at Gmail. And for the password, I believe it was a strong password. Test one, two, three, four, five. At, at. Let me just confirm and actually, aha, I've shown you guys the password. Let me hide it again and click login. Okay, boom. Now we have just entered our password and boom, guys, we have our WordPress installed locally. So now with this WordPress installation, you can do basically or essentially everything that you can with the online uh, WordPress installation. You can install themes, you can install plugins, you can, you know, set up users. Basically, everything that you can do online, you can do with this WordPress installation. And now, guys, I'll be showing you how to migrate now your local site to a live site. Please make sure to check out that video. And if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please subscribe to my channel. And until we meet again, happy coding and bye-bye.